What drives Michigan? Is it the cars or is it the people? Well, this is a show about interesting people and interesting cars. So it's only fitting that the first guest of the series is Jim Harbaugh. He's a former NFL quarterback, a father of seven, and the head coach of the University of Michigan Wolverines. He shows me how to fight, shows me how to drive, and even how to sing. Now, why am I hosting this? I'm writer-director from Los Angeles. Well, that's because my entire family lives in Michigan, and they just keep telling me I have to move back. So I'm here to find out why. Because this is Suburban Drives Michigan. Thanks to the Suburban Collection, I get to pick him up in the world's fastest zero to 60 production car, the 840, yes, you heard that right, 840 horsepower Dodge Demon. On their website, Dodge describes the Demon as domestic, not domesticated. And if that doesn't sum up Jim Harbaugh, then I don't know what does. Thanks to Jim, I get to see the largest stadium in the United States in a way that I will never forget. Which way should I go? If I've never been to Ann Arbor... Let's go toward campus. Okay. Take a left here. So this is campus. You can see the buildings. Beautiful. Yeah, I just went pa past the law quad there. Um, it's To me, this is right... All these buildings are right out of central casting. If you were doing a, a Hollywood movie... <laughs> You were looking for. This is the spot where you, you want to look for the right shot where we have the ivy growing on the on the walls. Everything's beautiful brick. Do you miss playing football? Yeah, I do. Exactly. I know it's I know it's passed me by, but I do miss it. Did you know the moment you were done, or did you know? You know what I mean? Like I, I'm I'm not talking. <laughs> That's a great question. No, I never knew that moment. It was uh, body or head or both. I, both. I always just felt like I had two more years. You know, I can, I can do this for a couple more years. I, I didn't want to stop. You Get still got to this. Here you go. One, two. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? That's so good. Did you always know you were going to get into coaching? Yeah, I knew. I knew from a, like, five years old, four and a half, that uh, I would play as long as I could, I would coach, and then I would die. <laughs> Preferably on the field. <laughs> this is my kids go to school right here, St. Francis. I love it. That was my grade school. They go to the same grade school. Same you went grade to? school. Are you guys finished, or are you great. still having kids? I'm for more. More is more. Bless your heart. Because you have seven. <laughs> I suppose once you get out of man defense and you're into zone, it's right? It's like a left here. Once you're into zone defense, it's like it's awesome. There's not a lot of things where more isn't more. Yeah. People that say less is more. I just fundamentally argue with that concept. <laughs> fundamentally argue with less is more. I can show you where I grew up at. Uh, oh, I'd love to see that. Okay, let's go do that. You get a lot of memories here when you go back to your old neighborhood. Pretty street. So that's our house right there with the carport. My sister had a bedroom and that's it. You know, there's a living room, there's a kitchen, and there's a basement. Basements, there's a basement, man. of course. Of course. Uh, incredible pickle games right here. And were you friends with neighbors? Were there tons of kids? Yeah, I mean, the, the thought I got right now is this court here, there's, a, there's an older kid who lived on that. Mm -hmm. He stole my bike and... Uh, <laughs> It still gets you. He denied it for a while, but then uh, the word got back that yes, he was kind of bragging about that he had stolen my bike. And he was about three or four years older than me. Right. And uh, I had to make the decision, do I go, go confront this guy? Mm -hmm. uh, and- uh, How old are you at this time? Uh, at this time, I'm 10, maybe 11. So you gotta make that decision. Did you get the bike do you back? slunk away or do you go get your bike back? Did you get it back? I, well, I went and got it back. And uh, he was, yeah, I did it and you can't have your bike back, and uh, what are you gonna do about it now? So, boom! <laughs> <laughs>
dropped him <laughs> at 10. Ah, he didn't go all the way down, you know, but he, I did get, you got did, some blood. I got some blood. You I got some blood. Yeah. Got my bike. Did you do, did you no, do one of these like the, as you walked away? Did you? I, I went one, I did one of these. <laughs> no, just one of those. Yeah. That's a defining moment a as defining a kid, moment. right? It's a defining moment. Where you decide I'm either going to go like, hey, like, kid. Slunk you. away or go get my bike back. Right. Yeah. There Come home and bronze your fist. Signature mo a signature moment in one's life. That's really cool. I can tell you the other, you know, 10 times I got beat up. I was about 50, a 500 fighter. I, <laughs> That's pretty great. But that was one of the worst. Just admit straight up, I was more of like a 500 was fighter. A five, I wasn't a super no, I wasn't successful an undefeated. Day. I look up at that cul-de-sac now, I go, you know what? It's not, I don't have to turn away. It's in the W column. Yeah, that's in the W column. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try driving it? Sure. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. I told you the story about getting the bike back, I and mean, I could tell you, 15 signature moments, defining moments where, you know, I wanted to tell the coach I had a upset stomach when I was a kid. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to quit football. But I knew I couldn't because I knew what my dad would have done to me if I would have quit. It's he told me he was buying me those $12 shoes and I had to play the whole year. So I was worried about the guy, Ralph, the guy I had to tackle, but I was also, I was more worried about my dad, you know? Yeah, and I was like, eh. Coach, I got I think I got a, I got a stomach ache here, but the guy right in front of me tried the, the same thing, and the to coach told him to get his butt in there. So, man, now I'm in here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it or or slunk away. And uh, you find that in those kind of moments, I did it. I tackled him. I got the back of my head hit the ground first. Mm -hmm. You know, he dragged me for what, what ten or fifteen yards. Uh, but when it was all over, he fell down stepped in a hole or got tired or something and I had made my got first tackle. Backed. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't really see, you know. Mm -hmm. Bell was wrong, but yeah, that's the kind of lesson you learn that I can I can do this and then get the courage from it later. That is a gorgeous stadium. Some huh? It's a big house. Too bad we can't just drive this car right down the tunnel. That'd Wouldn't be that be awesome. nice? That'd be awesome. You know what? You might Hollywood guy like yourself. You might have the excuse us the pull to do that. <laughs> Should we try? It? That'd be good. What's the worst thing they say? Is there any chance we can drive down there? Oh yeah. Really? How about that? We can even drive in the field because uh, they're they're taking the turf out. Come on, new turf. <laughs> Gotta have new turf. <laughs> Would you like the pleasure of doing that? No, I'd love to see you do it, man. <laughs> Wow, what a treat, man. So this would be good for your show, right? Stuff like this in LA, you can't do, but in in Michigan, you got great guys that, you know. Got nice people. Got nice people. Here we go, take a lap around. Pretty <laughs> Or driving on the field, that's amazing. Pretty big, huh? It is. The big house. How do you prep How do somebody feel? for, you're coming on the, the biggest stage to not be overwhelmed. What do you see on the face of any 17, 18 year old that comes in, and it's what I remember when I walked onto campus was, am I really good enough to do this? And deep down, am I really good enough to do this? And then I think most people it takes like eight years and then you look back and say, yeah, I was good enough. If you can try to shrink that from eight years to 12 months, because once you have that confidence. That's the key. It's like putting a, engine on the back of the boat and then you just you know, really go right you go places and the look on the face is this you know kind of looking out I'm, gonna be okay. I'm looking out I'm gonna the top okay. I'm looking out the top of my eyes I'm, I'm looking at my shoes I don't know if I'm good enough you know when they know they're good enough and they got the confidence there's like a little chin bob you know there's a little you see it change like you, you can see, see change. the change in somebody I got this yep that's got to be, as a coach, the coolest part, that's right? The best, that's the when best moment. When you see it, you're like, you've got it's it. The, it's the best moment. When they look back at you and go, I got this. It's, yeah, it's, thanks. It's a visual fist bump, right? <laughs> it's like, a it's like, right? That's, that's very good. There that's it is. That's cool. See the big 
Can we park in the middle and stand out there? Just because I gotta see what it, what. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Wow. That, now again, they are replacing this turf in a matter of... <laughs> it's almost... Uh, awesome. Turf is being replaced. Turf's being replaced, just so we're clear. <laughs> Coach did not mess up the turf. Yeah, that's just the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I may get a memo for that. Wow. Cool feeling, huh? All right, let's get out of here before we get a memo. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> How many of those do you get? Memos? Yeah. Uh, dear sir. <laughs> Coach, what were you thinking? We are replacing the turf. Did I mention that? Yeah, I heard something about the turf replacement. <laughs> So you guys uh, <coughs> behaving yourself? You betcha. Yeah. You're not having any fun. I heard you? they're replacing the turf. Did you hear about they that? They are replacing the turf. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. What, is it before or after the soccer game? <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Paul. Appreciate it. Go blue. Bye-bye. How many times a day do you say go blue, you think? Uh, so how many times does Huey Lewis say power of love? Um, before we forget, I got the, the main questions. What was your first car? Uh, a 1965 Comet. <laughs> Hand me down? Uh, yeah, it was from my brother. What's your. My uh, friends called it the Vomit. What's your dream car? Any car in the world you could get. Let's say. Dream car. Dream though. car. Like, I'll tell you what my dream car is, because I do have one. Uh huh. A convertible. Like a 70s type of convertible. Right. Would be really like nice. Like a muscle convertible, like a... No, no, it doesn't have nothing fancy like that. I mean, Perry Mason? Yeah. <laughs> just, just a convertible, you know? Like a, That's fantastic. I could see you in that. Four-door, you know, like back seat, so you can take your kids and you got the... Uh-huh. I don't know what kind of convertible Perry Mason had, but... But I think that, that kind, kind... That kind of <laughs> defines you that you're not saying I want a specific. You're like, I want a 70s convertible. What's your everyday driver? What do you drive now? Ford F-150. And you love that. I do. Yeah. The name of the show is Suburban Drives Michigan. So I ask everybody, what do you think drives Michigan? It's a great question. I, I definitely think what first jumped into my mind was the, was the people. Um, I think there's more of an attitude. Like I didn't live in the 50s mm -hmm. or the 40s where the greatest generation lived where people that went, fought wars, um, went through a depression, you know. They knew, how to, they knew how to work. They took accountability and responsibility for things. So I look back at that great, that great generation and we need to get more back to that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Michigan, of all the places I've lived, the people are the closest, closest to that, to a great that way of thinking. Yeah. I actually totally agree with that too. It's like a, um, it's a work ethic. A confidence, you know, there's a confidence that we're gonna get it done. Yes. Yeah. We don't know how we're gonna get it done, when we're gonna get it done, but we know we're gonna get it done. Not like, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? And then you're over the legal limit of what ifs and it takes so long that you don't ever get it done. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we're gonna put a man on the moon. I, we don't know how we're gonna do it. We're <laughs> We're when we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Who's on the team? Doesn't matter. We're good. Here we go. So I had this idea. Have you seen James Corden does carpool karaoke? No. So we don't have a, that big of a budget by any means to get music like that. Uh -huh. But the song, arguably the greatest fight song of all time, right? Since it's in public domain. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. It's the greatest fight song of all time. Yeah. But since it's in public domain, we can use it. It's okay. royalty free. Yeah. So I have this idea. So we're gonna do like the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> this is called. We don't have that. That's not domain. This is called the royalty free jamboree, right? All right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, now ready? I'm gonna challenge you. I had them record different versions of this. 
Okay, this is the, if you and I were in a lounge. Hey, thanks for coming out, everybody. Hey, how are you? It's coming, ready? Here we go, hey. Hail to those victors, valiant. Hail to the concrete. Hey, you look beautiful tonight. Thanks for coming out, how are you? Doesn't it feel like we should be like, like have a martini? I kind of like this version. Ready for polka? That's really cool. This is your interlude. Hey, everybody, to get up at the stadium. Hey! <laughs> Hail to the victor's valiant. Hey. Like if I had the accordion. <laughs> hero. Hail to the Michigan. To the country. Country? Do you like country? Oh, I love country. Oh, then you're going to like this. Okay. Who doesn't? Hey, y'all. <laughs> got a hat on. You dudes got the mic. Woo! Okay, ready, last one. Heavy metal. Alright, I think that one could actually catch fire if something cut off. Yeah, right? that's awesome. Great idea! Cheaper than food. Crazy Jim's Blimpy Burger. Crazy Jim's Blimpy Burger. We're gonna order. Yeah. What's your burger? Triple. What kind of Same bun? Uh, regular bun. Anything grilled. Uh, pardon? Anything grilled. Uh, no, just uh, the onions. Cold onions, ungrilled onions. I just want to know what you want off of that list. If you don't want anything, just say nothing. Onions. Onions. But not grilled. You don't want anything real. Nothing off of that <laughs> list right there. That is a phenomenal burger. Love that, huh? Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Forget the cooler. It's just coaches and cars getting burgers and getting yelled at while getting burgers. Doesn't get any better than that. We also got good milk in Michigan. Well, while we didn't drag it somewhere, we did do a donut in the center of the field, so right, thank you for that. But they are getting new turf, I heard. They are getting new so turf. we're fine. Hopefully before the soccer game. So what's gonna be fun is when I edit this, we'll do a counter of how many times you and I say getting new turf. <laughs> we'll do a ding, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> they're, they're taking the turf out. Come on. New turf. Well, now again, they are replacing this turf in a matter of... <laughs> Turf is being replaced. Turf's being replaced, just so we're clear. We are replacing the turf. Did I mention that? Yeah, I heard something about the turf replacement. <laughs> I heard they're replacing the turf. Did you hear about they that? They are replacing the turf. Yeah, I heard. But they are getting new turf, I heard. They are getting new so turf. We're fine. Coaching NFL versus coaching college. Mm -hmm. Wildly different? No, not wildly different. College players need more nurturing. They're not ready to be the head of their own household yet. Yeah, a little more safety net, a little more more guidance, uh, more support. Right. And you have a chance to be their favorite coach they ever had. Whereas by the time they get to the pros, they already have their favorite coach or teacher and you have a chance. plenty of friends. Yeah, everybody wants to be their friend. Uh, so yeah, you're kind of you're right there with them as they're really figuring out. Right. Getting that chin bob. You know, mm -hmm. they haven't quite got it yet, and you're, you're kind of, that's a neat thing. That's a, that's a real honor, you know. Parents dropping their son at your doorstep, you know, and, and you got to make sure that you return them the same good quality, genuine person they dropped off, at least as good. So mm -hmm. that's overarching there is the, the biggest responsibility. Look, it's one thing to say, hey, we want you to win. It's like that guy yelling at you, we need a national championship this year. That's fine. But the reality is you have... We do how, need more. How many... <laughs> <laughs> we do need that. Suburban Drives Michigan is brought to you by the Suburban Collection, representing 37 different automotive brands in over 50 locations throughout Michigan. From your first car to your dream car, 
and everything in between. The Suburban Collection. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. But even more than that, I need to know in the comments section down below who you think drives Michigan. It could be your mom, your dad, your high school coach, the fireman who saved a kitten, or even somebody famous. Like, I don't know. What? Are you from Michigan?